Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 18th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ainsworth for Longmont Public Media. We're going without video today. Sorry about that. Our first quarter moon occurs Sunday this week, November 22nd. 48% illuminated. It's kind of interesting if the moon sets at midnight. Checking in on drought from last week to this week. Almost no change whatsoever. It's a slight worsening of the drought down in the southwestern part of the state, but that's all. Looking nationally, the long-term drought now extends up and down the spine of the Rockies and a little bit out to the west coast through Oregon. Precipitation for the last seven days was good news for the burn regions. We had up to two to three inches and locally more up here around Red Feather Lakes. And over on the western slopes, half inch to inch amounts were pretty widespread. But because the moisture was coming from the west and the air dropped off of the Rockies down to lower elevations, that down slope dried the air and all we had was wind and a lot of it last weekend. Wednesday noon, gigantic high pressure ridge the center around Brownsville, extending all the way up to Canada. We have a trough on the west and east coast. A pattern like this does not change very quickly when the wavelength is about the same size as the entire nation. You don't get much motion. But what we do see is little ripples in the flow uh, starting to come in. Because of that, we are at above normal temperatures now and we're going to return to normal temperatures into the Thanksgiving week. Moisture at the surface is extremely low, but moisture in the middle and upper atmosphere is pretty good, so we're going to get some nice sunrises and sunsets with upper level clouds coming through the ridge. Locally, smoke is not really expected. The model thinks that we could still have some here from the troublesome fire. I don't think that that's actually occurring. There's a little fire activity out on the Nevada-California border, sending some smoke just north of us. Normal temperatures drop from 50 to 46 over the next 10 days, while low temperatures go from 23 down to 20. The temperatures in the daytime, at least, the normals are dropping pretty quickly. We start out above normal at the beginning of this period, and then pretty much stay within that normal range for the rest of the week. Here's Thanksgiving out here. We see one, two, three minor cold fronts that will be coming in uh, Thursday afternoon, Monday, and then again on Wednesday next week. Each are followed some time later by a chance of rain. It's not great, but there's some small chance of precipitation occurring. Freezing is right through this part of the graph and most of the time temperatures are remaining above freezing. It's just in the uh, overnight hours pre-dawn that it could be cold enough for that to come down as snow if anything falls. Taking a look at the temperature anomaly, this is how warm it is above normal with the reds and oranges across the center of the nation. And that's with that large ridge. See temperatures 10 to 20, 25 degrees above normal this week. I'm taking a quick jump forward to Thanksgiving. Sorry about that little formatting there. But temperatures on the east side of the Rockies, just a little bit below normal. Not, not much. It's about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal. And just go right over the Continental Divide and you have temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. So by Saturday, the ridge is still kind of here, but this trough is beginning to depress it. We're getting a little west to east zonal flow. This ripple will bring in that next cold front. Tuesday, the next trough is a little deeper and it will definitely get more wind around, but there's just not a lot of moisture as we'll see in just a moment. For Thanksgiving, there's a trough in the northern branch of the jet stream skirting by pretty strong winds aloft. But this is the precipitatable water anomaly. So the green temperatures, 
sorry, green colors are moisture above normal, the total amount of water that could be squeezed out of the atmosphere, and the browns are below normal, and the entire nation basically has a very dry atmosphere around Thanksgiving. So even though the energy is there to create snow and rain, very little is going to be able to form. So over the next 10 days, you see the mountains getting three, four, eight inches in, in lucky spots of snow. And along I-25, virtually nothing. A little bit on the Palmer Divide is a trace to a tenth of an inch. When looking at the actual amount of water that falls, we're getting a little bit of rain out here in the southeastern plains, which is good for them, and some good moisture up in the mountains, totaling to almost an inch. But again, right around Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins, it looks very dry. So over the next seven days, we cool down with the, our succession of cool fronts. We warm up a little on Saturday, drop again. Just a little roller coaster ride with very small chances of precipitation. For more local news and frequent weather updates, check out longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.